Now, let's see if we can't really have some fun here. Watch this. I'm going to keep this one wet right here. And notice it hasn't dried. It still hasn't dried on my brush. It's still pretty, pretty flexible. <clears throat> and I'm working this way, not because I have to, but because that's my nature. I just like to work that way. And that'll be a vase or vase, depending on what you paid for it. If you paid over $5 for it, it's a vase. I'm sure you knew that anyway. You guys knew that. And I'm going to kind of put some neutrals in here and kind of sneak a little bit of this in here so I can neutralize some of this color so it isn't all too strong, bring it down and I like it. I mean, it's not going to go to the Louvre, I'm sure, but I don't care. I'm having fun. And that's what I want to, uh, another thing I want to tell you people, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Painting is enjoyable. Make it fun. Who cares if you make a mistake? I don't, you know, nobody cares. Don't worry about it. If you're worried about the mistakes you're going to make, boy, you've got a problem. Because you're going to make them when you paint. I do. Every time I paint, I do something wrong. Or I could have done it better, or I, you know, whatever. You're not going to be perfect. It's just a wonderful thing to get into and a wonderful uh, a wonderful adventure, a wonderful journey is this painting. You learn something every time you're together. And I advise you to get together with a group of <coughs> a group of uh, other people who paint in, in your community. Maybe you get together with with uh, watercolorists or oil painters or plain air painters or whatever. But the idea is to enjoy what you're doing and have fun at it. Make it a game. Make it a journey, not a destiny. You know, that's important. Make it a journey and not a destiny. Is that looking all right so far? Alice? Alice from, uh, where is Alice from? Isn't she from, she's not from North Carolina. She's from South Carolina. Alice, yeah. Good to see you, Alice. Glad you could make it. Catherine, glad to see you too. I really, I really missed you people. Glad you're with me. And I'm just sort of, I'm not, not getting too, too defined, not, not too, too much definition. More color than anything else. More color than anything else. And that's what I like about it. See, this is almost dry right here. Still a little tacky. But uh, that's part of it. That's all part of it. I'm, I think I'm just going to bring this down too. Oh, isn't that a nice blue in there? I like that. I like that. Let's have something to tie it to the edge, edge of the canvas. And you'd never think this was oil, would you? But it is. It's oil. It's water-soluble oil. 
And it's just so much fun. <clears throat> so much fun to to uh, to paint with. I just have the greatest time. I just have the greatest time. Let's have a let's have a little bit more fun here. How's that look, fellas? How's that look? Is it looking good out there? Don't everybody yell at once. This is the Yes canvas. I think I told you that. It will, um, it will take any water, water media, any water media, and along with oil. One thing about this is if you paint it with water media and varnish it, you won't have to put glass on it. That's a big thing. Just put it in a frame and that's it. That's the deal. I don't know if I'm com completely finished yet, but I kind of like the, I like kind of like what I've done. I'm going to look at it and maybe add one or two little things to it. Maybe a little bit highlight right in there, right in there. I like that. Let's see what this does. Take some edges away. Yeah, take some edges away. So it all all kind of flows together. I like that. Rachel, don't you like that? You like that? Sure you do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let's see if we can't put a little pop to this thing. Watch this. And remember I said you can you can regulate this any way you want. That might be a little too much, but we're gonna Oh I like that. I like that. That gives it a nice little too 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 much in the center, so we're gonna spread it around a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did. And there's a lot of things we can do with it. There's so many things that we could, uh, we could do with it. Oh, maybe that'll work, huh? Think so? Huh? Maybe. Maybe. If we don't like it, we can take it right out of there. That's, that's the way I look at it, you know. If you don't like it, take it out. But if you don't try it, how do you know if you're going li to like it or not? What was it they said about Beethoven's Ninth Symphony? We didn't like it until he wrote it. Now we can't do without it. See? And that's the same thing with these little things you do. You, you could make somebody very happy with your painting. Your children, leave it to your children, or your mother, or whoever. You know, somebody's going to say, gee, this, this was given to me by so-and-so, and I really like it. I'm glad they gave it to me. Took some of that edge off, and I just bring a little trouble. That's called a troubled background because it's it kind of hasn't got a a straight and you know perfect um, solid background to it. It's got little bits of this here and there, and so they call that a troubled background. Now I didn't invent that. 
Somebody else did, but that's okay, too. Now, <clears throat> you've seen what we've done here. It's really, really nothing fabulous, but you can see what this water-soluble pigment can do. Very easy to work with, very clean, very, very flexible. Um, you can treat it just like oil or watercolor or acrylic, just treat it like anything else. And as this dries, the water that encompasses the, the uh, uh, particles of, uh, of uh, pigment will evaporate and you've got an oil painting. You have a legitimate oil painting because that's what this is made out of is oil. It's just encompassed by, by uh, water. Um, I'm awfully glad you came by. I really am. It's so nice to see you. I just don't like painting alone anymore. I just like being with you people. So thank you. Thank you very much for coming by. And we hope to see you again. Please join us at Jerry's Autorama. Go to the website. Click on Instructors. And uh, choose whatever one you want. We have some wonderful instructors. Take advantage of them. Take care. We'll see you next time.